Mm -mm. Dog food. Hey, my name is Perpetual Pandemonium, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today, we are going to head over to the hospital. We want to go ahead and try and see if we can find out the origins of this disease that we see everywhere around us, causing the zombification of our previous neighbors and friends. However, that sentimentality is not going to keep them alive. We're going to take them out anyways. If we can hit them, that is. Can we even stomp their heads in? Eventually, yes. This honey badger does great work. Alright, we are here. Quite a bit of zombies here. Now, this honey badger has a very limited cone of sound that it exhibits, unlike the pistol, which we'll see later on in the video as the pistol draws in far more. But the honey badger does draw some in. Oh, out of ammo. Or a quick jam. Clear it and get back to business. Tons of gunplay here. I'm going to cut some of it out just because it's a lot of the same. But uh, this is what we do for about 5-10 minutes out front. See, they just keep coming and coming and coming and we just keep mowing them down. We achieve entry into the hospital. Close the door behind you. Not much in the laundry room. Let's keep going. Bathroom? Water at the very least. Nurse zombie. Goodbye. Oh, a key. As I mentioned, water. Nobody sneaks up on us. I can just hear them everywhere. Oh, shotgun, huh? I don't really need a shotgun right now. Too noisy. So the audio isn't coming through quite as well as I thought it would on the video, but uh, in game it sounds like there's just zombies all surrounding us. And it's because there is. And it's because they're also banging on all their doors on the upstairs uh, uh, rooms, the hospital rooms. They're trying to break out, break into glass. Uh, and, and they'll be honest in a short amount of time. Oh, we're finding hazmat suited men. Maybe we can find some answers. I assume that based on the presence of people with hazmat suits, we would find some information. So hopefully we do. Well, I guess we're finding people of all walks of life here. That was that firefighter we just took out a second ago. Time to pull the guns back out. Getting a little overwhelmed with zombies here. This is where some of those zombies from upstairs start trickling down a little bit. Okay. That solves that problem. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I run things a little close here. Oh! Wish this one would, uh, either break the window or go away. Oh, Jesus. And there they are. So that's just the first little bit. They all started funneling down. This one here. Why is everything out of ammo? And you can see how much louder that is than the Honey Badger assault rifle was, which is kind of funny. Clearly did not plan good enough for this. My one singular pistol magazine. Reload. Holy smokes. This is why I was supposed to not open dead inside. I was trying to make a stupid, I was trying to make a stupid Walking Dead joke. Don't dead open inside. 
fumbled that one. Very bad timing on all this. Quick interjection, I do want to thank my members, my channel members, Hunicha, Milk, Bonehead, and Pissmaster. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. And if you want to become a member of the channel, hit that uh, link down below. I think it's just labeled join. And if you like the video so far, give it a like. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Okay, new immediate goal. With it already being so late, I think I need to go ahead and find a place to sleep for the night. Now, I would like to also barricade it, but I don't know if it's going to make more noise than it's worth. We'll, we'll find out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll go ahead and take care of a few zombies and then head back on into the hospital. Take this guy out. We're going to go find a room real quick. Nice and cozy. Good night. All right, let's get back to work and clear out the rest of this hospital and try and find out any information about this pandemic. There seems to be a weird level of preparedness here with gas masks and all sorts of things in the hospital rooms. I wonder if they had some information beforehand, before the main breakout. Okay, so we are actually shockingly low on ammunition. I only have... Uh, two double stack 45 caliber magazines, but I've got a lot of ammunition for that, but we only have these seven uh, 556 magazines that we have for the honey badger. So we're gonna lay off Shooting for a little bit and we're gonna switch over to melee Once again a weird level of preparedness with these gas masks Hospital there's there's some information somewhere here. I'm sure of it even though the literature is 10 years old at this point and only lasts for a little bit, it was written about how the disease started out as airborne. So it makes sense if the hospital was made aware of this that they would have a bunch of gas masks on hand. So I'm sure there's some collusion between this hospital and the government. This hospital storage room really solidifies that hypothesis. It's completely filled with bunches of gas masks and respirators and things like that with some other medical... Damn, I wish the power wasn't out. Maybe we could check some of these computers for valuable information about the pandemic. It's looking more and more like the hospital destroyed any incriminating documents. We may have to move further in and locate a research area. Or maybe some local government offices find the solution to our question. What do we have here? Is this the solution? Wonder what the doctors used this for. What documents were they signing with a pen this big? too big to carry with us. We'll just rely on our handy axe. Uh oh? What is this? Why is nobody here? Why are there no zombies? I mean, I know I fought a bunch of them, but I didn't drag every single one of them. What's going on here? Some sort of lab? Looks like they had test samples, they took them with them, because that's just food in there. Well, rotten food at this point. Long rotten. Once again, it looks like they left and took everything of informational value. Doesn't look like we're going to find the answer to the start of this pandemic here. I will, however, eat 3,255 calories of margarine. That's it. For a hospital that likely contained some of the original victims of the plague, that's it? Okay. Population is getting more and more dense the closer in we get. No time to check it. Damn it. Who set off that house alarm so close? Starting to think someone's after me. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Somebody keeps on setting off house alarms on my path. Luckily, this one's up and to the right, which hopefully should save us from the bulk of the zombies. Let's hang out for a second and kill some. It's sounding more and more like the alarm was coming from the direction of the police station, which is not good at all. Let's find out. We're here. Here is the police station. We finally, where is that? Another one nearby? Somebody's, somebody's trying to hurt me. I'm being hunted down. And not just by zombies. It's gotta be by something smarter. Otherwise all these home alarms around me wouldn't be going off all the time. We gotta find our way out of this. Make our way into the police station. Find more ammunition so we can continue trying to find how all this started. Why would someone want to keep these secrets even a decade later? I don't understand that. We're gonna kill as many as we can on the outside first before even thinking of heading inside. Too dangerous. Don't want to get trapped behind a 30 stack. Garage is locked. Back door is unlocked. Okay. Close that up behind us. What do you got for me? Nothing that I want. All right. Okay, this is the scariest, scariest part right here. Go down, buddy. Have a key. Yes. Clear this place out. Oh, here comes a friend of ours. We'll come back to them later. They're still on the outside. I'm not too concerned about them. I want to see if this place has a gun locker should I think we're there get some water all right moment of truth well this may not be the gun locker it's just just a regular old prison nothing uh oh Please. Okay. Police bag. Nine milli rounds. Let's grab those. Hey, we've got that. Okay. Some double stack magazines for the pistol. Grab that ammunition as well. 50 BMG ammo. 9 millimeter. Come on. I need something. Super shorty. 12 gauge ammo. We'll grab that. This is not turning out the way I wanted it to. 50 cal ammunition. I don't need that. Oh. We're just going to have to figure it out. We're here in the city. We've got our trusty axe. We've got some ammunition. We can do this. So let's do it. But we are going to do it next episode. My name is Perpetual Pandemonium. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.